I have worked on a lot of front-end and back-end projects and read a lot about the important web-related concepts used extensively by most companies and their engineers. In this video, I would like to talk about different and important key points that sum up what makes a good front-end developer. Well, for starters, you must be proficient with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are the foundational techniques of the web. HTML defines the structure of web content, CSS styles it, and JavaScript adds interactivity and dynamic behavior. Proficiency in these languages is fundamental for any front-end developer to create functional and visually appealing websites and web applications. Then you must also understand how responsive design works. With the multitude of devices used to access the internet, ensuring a seamless experience across various screen sizes is vital. Responsive design guarantees that users can access and interact with the content regardless of whether they are using a desktop, tablet, or smartphone. Some important things to consider would be using media queries to apply different styles based on screen width, employing viewport units like VW or VH for responsive typography and lengths, implementing a mobile-first approach where styles for smaller screens are defined first and then enhanced for larger screens. Then there's cross-browser compatibility. Different browsers interpret code differently. Ensuring cross Cross-browser compatibility means your website works consistently for users irrespective of the browser they are using, providing a uniform experience. Some important things to consider would be testing websites on different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge to ensure consistent rendering using CSS vendor or browser prefixes for properties that may be interpreted differently by various browsers such as WebKit, Moz, and so on. And also applying feature detection and polyfills for missing JavaScript functionalities in older browsers. Then in Number four, you should know performance optimization. Users expect fast loading websites. Optimized performance not only improves their user experience, but also positively impacts SEO and conversion rates. Users are more likely to stay on a site that loads quickly. Some important things to consider would be minifying CSS, JavaScript, and HTML files to reduce file sizes, compressing images and using modern image formats like WebP, implementing lazy loading for images and optimizing server configurations for caching, and minimizing HTTP requests. In number five, version control or Git. Version control systems like Git allows developers to track changes, collaborate efficiently, and revert to previous versions if necessary. It's essential for teamwork and maintaining a clean code base. Some important things here to consider would be committing changes with descriptive messages, creating branches for new features and bug fixes, merging branches and resolving merge conflicts collaboratively. After that, web accessibility is also important to know about. This is something a lot of junior devs miss out on, assuming it isn't necessary. Web accessibility ensures that everyone, regardless of disabilities, can access and use your website. It's a legal requirement in many places and demonstrates a commitment to inclusivity and social responsibility. Some important things to consider would be adding alternative text or the alt attribute to images for screen readers, ensuring keyboard navigation and focus states are implemented correctly, using area roles and attributes to enhance the accessibility of interactive elements. Then you must also know some web performance tools. These tools help developers identify bottlenecks and optimize websites for speed and efficiency. Understanding how to use them ensures that the final product is as optimized as possible. Some important things to consider would be analyzing website performance using Lighthouse and following its recommendations, using browser developer tools to profile JavaScript functions and optimize code, employing content delivery networks or CDNs to cache and serve assets globally. After that, you should pick one or maybe a couple of front-end frameworks or libraries and get proficient in them. Front-end frameworks and libraries provide pre-written standardized code saving time and effort. They also often come with built-in best practices, helping developers create robust and maintain code. Some popular framework and libraries include React.js, Next.js, Angular, Vue, and so on. Pick one based on your preferences. Then you should also know about build tools and task runners. These tools automate repetitive tasks like minification, compilation, and unit testing. They streamline the development process, making it more efficient and ensuring that the final code is optimized and error-free. The knowledge of build tools like Webpack, Gulp, or Grunt to streamline development workflows and optimize assets can be useful here. Then in number 10, there's CSS preprocessors. Preprocessors enhance CSS functionality, making it more maintainable and readable. They enable the use of variables, nesting, and functions, resulting in cleaner and more organized style sheets. Or you can also learn Tailwind, which is a utility-first CSS framework that allows you to rapidly build modern websites without ever leaving your HTML. In number 11, there's 
requires code quality and maintainability. Clean, well-organized code is easier to read, understand, and maintain. It reduces the chances of introducing bugs, makes collaboration smoother, and allows for easier future updates and enhancements. Some important things to consider would be writing modular CSS and BEM, which is block element modifier methodology, documenting code and using meaningful variable and function names for clarity, conducting code reviews to ensure adherence to coding standards and best practices. Then in number 12, there's testing and debugging. Thorough testing and effective debugging ensures that the final product is free of errors and functions as intended. Unit tests catch issues early, and debugging skills are crucial for identifying and fixing problems in existing code. Some important things to consider here would be writing unit tests for JavaScript functions using testing libraries like Jest, using browser developer tools for inspecting elements, monitoring network requests, and debugging JavaScript, employing debugging tools like Chrome DevTools and breakpoints to identify and fix issues. Next, you should have some user experience or UX design awareness. A front-end developer who understands UX principles can translate designs into intuitive and user-friendly interfaces. This understanding leads to a better overall user experience, increasing user satisfaction and engagement. Some important things to consider here would be implementing intuitive navigation patterns and clear calls to action or CTAs based on UX design principles. Designing responsive forms with proper error messages and validation feedback. Ensuring consistent typography, color schemes, and visual hierarchy throughout the website. Then comes web security. Understanding web security best practices is essential to protect sensitive user data and prevent attacks. It ensures that the front-end code doesn't introduce vulnerabilities that could compromise the entire application. Some important things to consider here would be validating user input on forms to prevent SQL injection and cross-site scripting attacks, implementing secure password storage techniques such as salting and hashing, configuring server security settings to prevent unauthorized access and protect against common web vulnerabilities like CSRF or cross-site request forgery. Next, you should also have adequate problem-solving skills. Problem-solving skills enable developers to overcome challenges efficiently. The ability to analyze issues, identify root causes, and implement effective solutions is essential for delivering high-quality products. Now, apart from these, there are a few other skills that every other developer should know in general, some of which are communication and collaboration. Front-end developers often work closely with designers, back-end developers, and clients. Effective communication ensures everyone is on the same page leading to a cohesive end product. Then there's project management skills, which help in time management and project tracking that is vital for meeting deadlines and delivering projects on time. And lastly, you should have some soft skills like putting attention to detail to ensure the final product is polished and professional, creativity contributes to innovative solutions, and patience helps in tackling complex problems without getting frustrated. So these are some major practices and topics you should be well versed with to become a good front-end developer. That's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.